this is Cam Park at the Fire Personal Training Studio, and today I'm going to talk to you about cardiovascular exercise. Everybody needs to be doing it, and I'm going to tell you how to do it so that you maximize your fitness, and if you need to lose weight, how you maximize burning fat. And I call it HIT, High Intensity Interval Training, versus Steady State Cardio. What you need to understand is when you first start exercising, now of course, make sure you do a five minute warm up, but after five minutes, your body will start burning primarily carbohydrates. That's in the form of glucose and glycogen stored in your muscle. You don't start burning fat yet. You, you just burn a little bit and then it changes. Okay? And I'm going to talk to you about this magic intersection, but first I want to talk to you about HIT. After a five minute warm up, I want you to do a 30 second sprint. 30 seconds. Now, depending on your fitness level, you may have to recover from one to two minutes. The key is to pick what's right for you. And you can tell by the way you feel. So I call this very uncomfortable to slightly uncomfortable. So you just want to make sure that by, if you pick a minute, if you still feel really uncomfortable, you might need to pick two minutes. Then you sprint again, you recover, you sprint again, you recover, you sprint again, you recover until this mark. So that's 30 seconds of sprinting, no longer, and you pick what's right for you, a minute to two minutes. If it takes you longer than two minutes, that means that you might be doing too much in this recovery period. You may have to do very little so that you can do your 30 second sprint. And your 30 second sprint is what's right for you. Now what happens is you get something really important when you do this push, very uncomfortable. It's called HGH, human growth hormone. Human growth hormone is a lipotropic hormone. It burns fat, builds muscle, and puts you in a good mood. Everything changes right here at 20 minutes. So when you're watching your timer, however you got this set up on a bike, swimming, hiking, walking, when you get to the 20 minute mark, now you're going to do steady state cardio, which means you're not going to do any more sprints. You're going to try to stay slightly comfortable to slightly uncomfortable. As you do this, your body primarily burns fat. Yes! So if I go 30 minutes, then I have spent 10 minutes in the fat burning zone. Right? But watch what happens if I go, you know, I'm already out here, I'm already doing it. Make sure you don't take a break at 20 minutes. Make sure you keep going and you go to 45 minutes. When you look at this, now you have spent 25 minutes in the fat burning zone. That's over twice the amount for 15 more minutes. Now let's say you know you're 20, 30, 40, 50 or more overweight. I really encourage you to do 60 minute sessions. Make sure that includes a three to five minute cool down. But the beauty of that is you have spent 40 minutes in the fat burning zone. That means four times the impact on you burning fat. Fat is energy. If you're trying to lose fat without exercising, without cardiovascular fitness, you're missing out on a lot of things that make you feel good. Human growth hormone with the HIT session in the beginning and the fat burning that comes. Don't do over 60 necessarily because technically if you're going to do that, you're going into a performance thing and you need to eat. So 60 minutes, stop, cool down, brag to your friends, social media posts, I just did it. And you're going to be really happy about how you feel and how much fat you burn.